I have created this game without writing a single line of code, only using a new coding assistant that's available at Visual Studio Code named Klein. Klein actually is not completely new, it's previously known as Claudia Dev. It's the current one, number one at Open Router as an app. As you can see here, it's the rank number one. Klein created a completely new update that it basically had to rename itself. The client name itself actually stands for CLI and editor. So it's work on your editor and it's work on also on the CLI or the command line interface that we have. You can use with client any API provider that you like, like Open Router, there is a couple of free models or Anthropica, OpenAI, Gemini, there is Amazon, Azura, and it can run command on the terminal. As I said before, you're gonna see this in a few seconds when I'm building this game. It can create file and edit files. It can analyze images and take a screenshot from the browser for improving the quality of the result that it have. It have different kind of tags for different contexts like URL, fixing a problem, adding a file, and adding a folder. It also switched from the MIT lenses to Apache 2 lenses, which is kind of a little bit concerning because what is happening between Bear AI and Continue extension, which is the current drama that's happening right now in the AI tools. But I'm going to talk about it later in another video. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Klein with Anthropica Claudia 3.5 Sonnet, which is the best coding model that available right now. And I'm going to build this bubble. I'm going to try to build this simple video game. It's a mobile game that is called Bubble Bob. If you know about it, maybe you played it before. It's a bunch of bubbles on the top and there is one bubble on the bottom. You shoot it on the colorful bubbles and if they match, they bob up. I'm going to try to attempt to build this in a web version of it using JavaScript and see how we can do it using Klein. In Visual Studio Code, select the extension tab and write Klein over here, S-L-I-N-E. It stands for S-L-I, which is a command line uh, that we have, and editor. Uh, you will find Klein, previously known as Cloud Dev, and here you can install it. It's straightforward, there is nothing about it that's difficult when it's installed, and after you install it, we are ready right now to use it. And now for how we're gonna set up the ABI provider. In order to access the other ABI provider that client gave us, all you have to do is Control Shift B if you are Windows or con Command Shift B if you are Mac. It will open this menu for us and here you can select Focus on View and Focus on View will give you this pop-up window. It might be on the right, mine on the left because I change it. And here you can select Settings and inside it you will find this tab that have ABI providers. I selected Anthropica, but you can select whatever what you want. We have Llama, we have OpenAI, we have Gemini. I'm sticking with Anthropica because I want to use the best. And the best right now is Cloud Sonnet 3.5. After you select the ABI provider and put the ABI key for it, you click done. And right now we are ready to use Client. So this is my current file that I have is called bubble.html and I'm going to give it this prompt but before I just hit enter I'm gonna take this prompt actually and enhance it using the bold.new and I'm gonna hit enhance maybe I need to sign in first okay right now I have the enhance prompt from bold.new if you don't know what is bold.new, watch the video of yesterday. It's an amazing AI tool that's work on full stack development in the browser. Back to our editor, I'm gonna copy the prompt that I have. Here it's much better than the one I created. It gives it the steps. It's like a group, show a single bubble at the bottom. I basically explain the entire game for it. And I ask for animation, bubble effect, dark background. You still win CSS for styling if possible. All of this stuff on JavaScript and HTML. But let's hit enter and see. And here it kind of break down the task and ask me if you want to read this file. I actually approve. So the difference about the client from previous version of it that it's right the stuff that it create inside a file. Not here in the dialog board. And when it's done, it automatically copy it. So let's say save 
it's done right now, I think. No, it's modifying once more, so it's like an agent. Okay. Went back and added something. I don't know what it is yet. Okay, I have a game over here. Oh, it's it's working. Okay. But I can't shoot it on the left or the right. I only shoot it directly. Okay, this is kind of brand new to me. It's actually read the file and it found out that based on the screenshot and the console log, it appeared this game is rendered correctly. But the bubble on top and the shooter bubble at the bottom are visible on the dark background is implementing. But it seems that it will add the score, implementing game over condition, and add the restart button and remove the layout. I didn't ask it for this. It kind of analyzes what is wrong and good with this game. This is really impressive. So this is the game look like after it's done building it. I can launch a bubble on other bubble and it kind of do this pop. Uh, and it's kind of very simple system sound and as you can see here i can see uh, the bubble going up the animation of it but there is a few things that is wrong about this kind of game the first thing that the bubbles are very small second thing that the bubble should match color i mean like if i launch it on the green this shouldn't happen and also it should be in center on top of it uh, over here and much more so I'm gonna try to implement this and see how it will look. Right, this is kind of what I wanted actually. I didn't write any code and it gave me this game. Right now I have this kind of bubble down below that have some sort of direction that I can aim at any direction that I want. And I don't have any yellow balls, but let's shoot it over here. Yeah, we have orange one over there. You see when I shoot it only the Bubbles that match the color pop, but the fact that like the bubble effect explosion is a little bit clunky. Might I maybe I want to fix it? And uh, there is no score yet. I will add a score. It will be cool if I add a score. But as you can see here, it's functional. And uh, as you can see here, also there is an effect of kind of bubbles that's created, and there is this gradient change in color effect. It's kind of cool. It's look really nice. I didn't write anything to get this game. I think that's a version that I want for now. Maybe I will work on it later. Right now I have this bubble is working. I have a score. I added a score to the game. There is the effect. I fixed it. Actually, let me show you. Um, okay. You can see here the effect is working correctly. And when I shoot the bubble, there is a certain sound. I don't know if you can hear it or not. By the end of this code, I had, I think, 348 lines of code and it cost me about 47 cents, almost 50 cents. And it returned about 20k of worth of token. So that's a very decent for a simple game like this. Yeah, it's a little bit costly because this is the best model that we have right now. And that's it for this video. I don't want to ramble anymore. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video, Respecting your time and providing valuable information, please hit the like and leave a silly comment for the algorithm and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you and see you on the next one.